the mother of missing Wisconsin teenager Jane Kloss was described as the family angel by grieving relatives. Denise Kloss, 46, and her husband James Kloss, 56, were shot and killed in their barren Wisconsin home on Monday in a double murder that has shocked the nation. Their 13-year-old daughter Jane Kloss was at home at the time and has been missing ever since, landing her the top spot on the FBI's kidnapped and missing persons list. It's a shock to the system, a family member said to Fox News. Denise was described as the family's angel. She would take vacation days if you needed help, the relative added. Family and investigators are clueless as to why the Wisconsin couple that worked at a turkey plant was targeted. Denise called police moments before she was killed. Cops arrived to the couple's barren home minutes after receiving a cryptic 911 call at 1 a.m. on Monday from Denise's cell phone. Once they arrived at the home they found James and Denise fatally shot inside the home, but no trace of their daughter Jane. In that cryptic 911 call no one spoke to the dispatcher, but a screaming and loud noises could be heard in the background. Police later traced the call log back to Denise. On Friday deputies revealed the front door of the home was kicked in when they arrived and they found multiple spent rounds inside the home. Investigators believe that the killer came to the home with the specific intention of abducting Jane, an FBI source told Rattering Line. Calm up there is a report that someone allegedly knocked on the door and as the father went to answer it gunfire erupted through the door. That has not been confirmed yet as it's an active investigation, the source said. The mother appeared to have barricaded herself in the bathroom and called police, added the source. It now appears that the dispatcher may have been hearing Denise's panicked final moments as the killer stormed into the bathroom where she hiding. Denise was a doting mother who often posted on Facebook sharing snaps of James.For James' birthday in July 2017 Denise shared a touching post for her daughter writing, Happy birthday to my daughter Jane Kloss who is growing up to be the sweetest and most kind-hearted girl, love you to the moon and back. Hope you have the best day ever, Jane responded saying, Thank you for awesome birthday mom, and thank you Aunt Sue for everything. Love you all, the hunt for Jane continues. Earlier in the week Miami police said a witness claimed to have possibly seen Jane at a gas station in Miami, Florida, but it was later not considered a credible lead. Share this article share some locals have speculated that Jane might have had a boyfriend or met someone who took advantage of her and killed her parents. However neither authorities or family members have indicated that Jane had some type of boyfriend. It's a tough pill to swallow. We're not ruling anything out, the family member who described Denise said. The Barron County Sheriff, Chris Fitzgerald, released a statement Friday urging anyone who knew the Kloss family or had recently been with them to come forward. We are seeking information about the victims Denise and James Kloss. We are hopeful to learn more about the Kloss family to help bring Jane home. If you spend time with members of the Kloss family recently, or if you have ever had a misunderstanding with any members of the Kloss family, or know someone who has, please call the tip line, Fitzgerald wrote in an online post. Barron County Sheriff Chris Fitzgerald said nothing of evidentiary value has been found in a ground search of field and forests near the home, and the search was called off Friday. The search began on Thursday with 100 volunteers. The police department has received hundreds of tips. Fitzgerald believes James is alive and in danger. 
The sheriff has so far declined to elaborate as to why investigators believe Jane is not a runaway, saying that disclosing more information would compromise their investigation. I'm telling you, Jane is missing and endangered, Fitzgerald said. We want to bring Jane home and put that smile back in her family's hands. Is it a random attack or a targeted attack? I don't know that answer. That's why those leads are so important, the sheriff continued. Anyone with information about Jane's whereabouts is urged to call the Barron County Sheriff's Office at 1-855-744-3879 or contact your local FBI office, American Embassy or Consulate.